Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are taking a look into the new unified network application 9.4.17 which is just updated as a release candidate. So this new network update got a lot of new features we will see in this video. Let's get started. So on the screen, you see the Unify Network Application 9.4.17 release note. I will put down a link in the description. So under the overview, you will see they have added object oriented networking where you can create multiple uh, policies, dynamic policies like you can create a routing uh, QoS from a single table. So uh, for a specific devices, if you want to create any policy QoS on a specific network device, uh, which WAN it should be route, you can create under this object oriented networking. We will check that later. After that, they have updated the policy table, master policy table, they are saying uh, where from the single policy table, you can uh, check all your policies, uh, ACL rules, uh, DNS record, firewall rules, everything from that policies. Even you can set up OSPF and BGP dynamic, uh, dynamic routing. And there are lots of improvement. They have added uh, a lots of improvement in the IPv6, which was long waiting from the ubiquity. So you can check that out. They have uh, added lots of uh, improvements and features for IPv6. And they have improved the dashboard, routing and policy, as well as the content filtering. We will take a look. So uh, first of all, uh, if you are running a Unify network on a hosted controller or in the Unify consoles like the UDM Pro, Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, you can update it from the control plane. And uh, from the control plane, you can uh, set for auto update or you can just manually update whenever there is a new update available you will see under the control plane you can manually update uh, but if you want to avoid manual update you can set auto update so right now i'm running on the early access so if there are a new early access version available i can uh, update and it's already updated so we will uh, take a look into this new update the uh, first features they have added is object oriented networking so uh, when you go to the settings of the controller you will see under the policy in engine they have uh, 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 use all those categories like a policy table zones as well as the objects so within this policy engines you can check all those settings so this new object settings we will have to take a look because if you see here they it's already clearly mentioned you can uh, create a firewall rules ACL automatically uh, so they they have invented new word said so automatically created by unify full stack working together it should be automatically uh, so you can check secure route QS schedule you can use the devices it will create that rule and it will uh, apply the policy table as well as the zone so uh, right now uh, you see uh, you can uh, choose create a group you can uh, create a policy for a specific uh, network and if you want to route on that specific network so if you take a look into my u cloud into plus which is running uh, the uxg pro i have already updated so let me show you there because i have created one uh, object policy so here if you check i have created a policy where all my wireless uh, network uh, which is connected on the main wi-fi i have uh, route that traffic uh, to the secondary van 2 and uh, in the qs i have used all traffic and i have prioritized uh, the speed limit on that specific devices so you can check here the download and upload limit i have set to 200 mbps so uh, if you check these uh, yeah, i mean right now i am on this uh, mac mini if i set the object uh, oriented rule on this mac mini i will be getting same uh, speed uh, what i have set under the uh, download and upload but you can uh, choose specific for example if you want to set uh, allow a policy on all iphone on your network you can just search for it and you can select it and if you want to secure that you can use that feature 
so this is pretty neat features you can uh, create a policy rules uh, automatically you don't need to go here and there within the same uh, objected oriented uh, networking you can uh, create a policy uh, for each devices uh, like you can allow as well as a block list you can route the traffic you can uh, even you can set the qs like if you want to uh, uh, qs on a specific region uh, ip address domain you can use that so now we can test uh, the objected oriented networking for now like you can search it for mac so right now you can select all your macbook and if you want to block list some domain from all the mac you can choose that you can choose everything or app you want to block list you can choose everything or you want to allow any or, or you want to turn off internet for all specific devices you can do that and if you want to route any traffic all traffic domain for, or the, on all the mac which are, are connected onto the network or you want to pass through the interface tunnel vpn tunnel you can use that and after that you can even set for the qs or the quality of services like uh, if you want quality of service on a specific app you can use that and even if you want to set uh, ip address region you can use that so this is quite good features and i can uh, you can create all the firewall rules access list from the single uh, objected oriented uh, networking so it is quite good i mean uh, also it says work best with full unified deployment and does not support third party equipment so if you have all ubiquity equipment all ubiquity router switches and the access point it will work best uh, with the unified deployment uh, after that uh, they have added the policy table i mean within this policy table you can create a new policy uh, you can filter out each policy like if you want to you check for the dns record you can check for uh, what dns record you have set on the controller and then you will see for the firewall rules what firewall rules do you have on this network you can choose that and even you can check the nat rule so you can filter that out even you get any options like if you want to check for specific source like for a specific uh, client devices for the source and the destination you can check that so for example uh, i have created object oriented networking so i'm checking one uh, uh, iphone so you can check the policy what policy has been added so you can check here the uh, policy and the qs uh, you can see that even even you can create uh, even you can create a, a, a routing uh, or a policy from here uh, if you want to create any new policy like a firewall rules you can create that even uh, you can create a dynamic routing right now i'm already using a side to side vpn so uh, i mean site magic vpn so ospf is already used but you can create a bgp dynamic routing from here so this has been uh, added and improved and they have brought the zone also here under the policy engines so you can use that also there are lots of improvement and within the internet uh, setting you can check all your gateway ports and uh, like uh, the assignment of van so if you use the udm pro uh, you will see there are all other ports uh, like one to eight uh, you can assign a van uh, you can check that like here is the udm pro so you can check here the van assignment also they have uh, added a one feature which is just i mean uh, not yet available uh, uh, van magic where you can combine the bandwidth of multiple van connection into a single link which is high performance and self healing resiliency under the lab it says uh, van magic is a continuously improving feature performance result may vary based on your location and isp so as of now it is not available in india but it is available at the us so this is also a good features where you can uh, combine the bandwidth of multiple van connection into a single link uh, so they have improved the internet section and uh, if you take a look into the dashboard of the udm pro uh, 
they have added these options of internet activities from here uh, you can check the maximum uh, download upload average uh, latency packet loss and connection within the dashboard so that has been improved and from here you can check the average latency uh, packet loss everything from here even you can check download and upload activity in this new version uh, uh, which has been improved in the 9.4.17 so if you are using a cyber secure by proof point and cloudfare uh, you will see the options of content filtering enhanced content filtering uh, so you must be active uh, you must be activated uh, this uh, uh, feature cyber secure by proof point and cloudfare then under the content filtering you will see the options called enhanced content filtering uh, if you are not activated to cyber secure you will just see a basics adult and malicious uh, filter but under the enhanced content filtering you will see a lot of uh, content they have added adult and sensitive content lot of uh, content you can uh, use and filter on your network so the list of all the content you can use and save your net safeguard your network so with the cyber secure proof point activation you will see the content filtering and uh, it is on the uxg pro you must be on the early access version as of now 4.3.0 uh, you will see this option and on the udm consoles if your udm or uh, dream uh, dream wall uh, ucg ultra it's it, it should be on the 4.4.0 early access version then only you will see uh, the content filtering options so this is quite good features uh, you can secure your network also uh, after this uh, they have improved the ipv6 as uh, i was talking about they have uh, improved the uh, ipv6 configuration so under the ipv6 configuration you can check uh, the, uh, the slack dscp v6 and the static ip you can use that if you take a look into the uh, release node under the ipv6 you can check they added support for ipv6 nat 66 rule for policy table added support for map e ipv4 over ipv6 interconnection type in japan so you can check all those improvement and they have, uh, have added all those features so you can uh, 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 use uh, if you're using uh, if your isp supported ipv6 you can use this uh, uh, new features uh, on the uh, new version 9.4.7 for ipv6 also uh, if you take a look into the settings of the controller right now they have added these options where you can give a feedback directly to the unify r and d team and you can just uh, uh, I mean you can just give your feedback what uh, features do you need and all those stuffs so you can use that and uh, they have improved lots of uh, new uh, new feature added features and they have uh, improved uh, lots of bugs as you can check here uh, that the Wi-Fi channel plan was only being applied to 5 gigahertz when some cases they have fixed a Wi-Fi channel they have fixed an issue for VLANs and everything so make sure to check the release note before you do an update so um, that uh, new feature uh, will help you in uh, any manner I, I, I and you can um, uh, utilize new features like object oriented networking van magic and you can see the improved dashboard metrics and uh, the policy table has been improved so uh, this uh, new uh, features has a broader this new update has brought a lot of new features so um, if you have not updated you can update and test it out uh, so far uh, i have tested uh, the objected oriented networking it it is working as expected but uh, this uh, update needs more time so i can test more and give uh, uh, my uh, i mean give my feedback on that later video so i think uh, that's it for the today's video i hope you will like this video if you're new to my channel please make sure to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video